Hi guys, this is Ninja Vira. So still on um, Ike Ikwere Madu and his wife, you know, the whole thing that has been going on on internet that um, they were trying to harvest organ from a young boy. There are so many rumors if the story is true or if the story is fake. But in this video, we are going to be looking at reactions and we are going to be looking at the letter that um, um, Ike Ikwere Madu wrote to the British High Commission. Is this letter really Photoshop? Is this letter um, edited? So these are things that we are going to be looking at and also people's reaction. There are also some testimonies, I mean some people who have had a one-on-one -on -one contact with TK Ikwere Madu that this is who he is, that he is a green snake in the green grass, he is a green man by far, let me say black man by. So right now we are going to be looking at them. So guys, the way the story is that they brought this uh, young boy who they said is 15 years old and then but they were claiming that he is 21 years old. But when they were trying to do the you know the doing the checkup if he is um, going to match with the recipient who happens to be uh, Miss Sonia Ekwere Madu, the daughter of uh, this former deputy senate and um, president Ike Ekwere Madu, they realized that the um, it can't work because it doesn't match. So you know you can't pair something when it's um, unpairable. So and that was when the boy the young boy now told the doctor that see i'm 15 years old you know but i don't know along the line guys they were like Ike Ikwere Madu, the Ikwere Madus, maybe him and his wife were uh, bullying the boy and trying to you know so at the process of um um bullying the boy and all of that the boy now happened to run away from the home and then went to report the matter to the police station now and that was how the police um, UK police they swung into action and then were able to arrest AK Ekwerimadu and his wife at Toki Airport and when they were able to flee to Toki. So they were arrested at the airport. Guys, these are Nigerians and these are the people, these are our leaders who we are, who we are looking up to and then they are the one tarnishing our image. Now maybe very soon they will start giving i mean they will change their policy i mean the travel policy uh, for nigerians going to uk now guys anyhow it is there are also rumors you know that um the boy that um Ike Ikwe de Madu and the wife didn't um, do the trafficking that the boy voluntarily um came to uk to uh, with the with the daughter to do the harvest Guys, there are so many rumors, many stories, but I know for sure that um, at the end of the day, justice shall be very the truth will be revealed and we are going to know. Because this thing, this thing that um, Ike Ekwere Madu have done, it means this is what our leaders are doing. This is what many of them are doing that we don't know, that you and I don't know. But this is an eye opener to many people, many Nigerians. So, guys, we are going to be looking at some reactions. Like I said at the beginning of this video, some people have been um, saying on um, social media, on Facebook, those who have experience, those who have been, those who have doctor experience, do, uh, medical experience, those who have been to the UK, those who, are, you know. So, guys, the first person here said. What kind of wickedness is this? Yes, you love your child, but don't this boy deserve a chance to live too? Couldn't you have offered money to anyone willing to donate or something? So you want to kill this, you want to kill someone's child so that yours will live. You are true definition of wickedness. <laughs> I think Excel Cholo has a point. Over the next person said, so apparently the doctor in the UK cancelled the organ harvesting procedure when he found out that the boy was 15 and the Equerimadu decided to maltreat the boy for telling the doctor his age. The child escaped from their house and slept rough for two days before going to report himself at the police station, which led to the investigation and arrest of the couple at Hatro Airport. When they were about to jet out to you to Turkey to procure another kidney for their daughter, can you imagine? So they were about to. 
even leave UK for Turkey to get another, um, you know, another donor. So where is the donor going to come from this time around if they, uh, if they were successful? They will still bring the person from Nigeria. Okay, this next one said, I think the main reason he said that that we should not waste our vote for Obi is because he knows that if he wins, he will remove all the bad senators. Peter Obi definitely will choose the people he will work with. You know, the main problem with the egos are having is that they don't mind what they do to get money as long as they benefit from it. No need. Economy is selfish to know that the young boy might be a great person in the future. He wants to save his daughter. To cut the story short, UK, UK go teach you lesson. You will never forget in a hurry. You think say that Nigeria is dead. This other one said, Father Mbaka attacked Peter Robi and got banned. Reno Omokri insulted Peter Robi and lost large social media following both on Facebook, YouTube and his blog. Wiki insulted Peter Robi and was betrayed and humiliated in PDP primaries. And since then, he have gone underground. Equally Madu insulted Peter Robi and have been arrested. Do any do you need anyone to tell you that Peter Robi carrying anointing? <laughs> That's true. You get a CD. So that one said, God has made it clear that any tongue that causes you shall be cursed. We are waiting for more that will cause Peter Robi. It's crystal clear that all of them will be put to shame. The likes of Wiki caused him and saw what it looked like. Ike Koremari did the same and saw the result. I will not mention someone for some reason. Please, others should take note. Peter, upon you, I will build my church, Nigeria, and the gates of hell shall not prevail. God will put the enemies of Nigeria to shame. Ike Ekweremadu is a man I respect so much. But in this one, I beg to differ. I, yes, I myself, I respect Ike Ekweremadu, you know. Then, when he was Senate President, the Deputy Senate President, I, I love him so much. So I once said, Homeless 15 year old boy, you brainwashed him with promises of a better life. Which better life without health? Using another child's life to keep your own child's life is just God that will judge you wicked decisions. <laughs> guys, and that is it. So what do you people think about this? What do you guys think about it? There are many people who are on dialysis. You know, they've been on dialysis for so, you know, many years. So many years. So, and this guy, A.K. Kwe he has the money. There is money. So why can't he do the same thing? Why his daughter is on dialysis, then you know you look for donor or you buy. Okay, let's look at what Aisha Yesufu said. She said, There are people who have spent six to ten years on dialysis. You keep your child on one until you get a donor. Why use another person's child? Hmm. The same thing what I'm saying. Wow. All right, guys. The evil that men do lives in them. We pray that God will continue to fish them out. And I think this is um, karma is also doing its work. Karma is also doing its work. In fact, uh, guys, if I tell you that when I had this news, I was so, so, so uncomfortable that a whole former deputy senate president is the one doing this. Anyway, as it don't be like this now, you go go prison, go to chop beans, go to chop your food. If not that it is the UK, if it's Nigeria, we know that um, by now, sir, we are not going to be hearing the news. It will be on bail. The bail itself, you may not even hear it. It's just a coded something. You know, so guys, I don't know why Nigerians, we are just, we keep spoiling our names outside the country. All right, guys, so this is Nigeria by Life here. New yeah, subscribe to my channel and turn your bell notification to my channel subscribers. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time for watching this video. And until next time, have a good day.